Before watching this video, subscribe to Women's Web and hit the bell icon. Hi, I'm Aparna Vedapuri Singh from Women's Web and this is my series, This Book Will Change Your World. Now, this is not a list of the best books in the world. No, I'm not pretending to be objective. Instead, this is a list of some of my favorite books, mostly by women in this series. And I'm going to be telling you why this book will change your world. The book that I'm going to be bringing to you in this episode is Wild Swans by Yung Chang. Now, this book by Yung Chang was born and brought up in China, but later moved to the West, first came out in 1991. And over the years, it's been read by millions of people and made it to every bestseller list. Why? Because Wild Swans is a deeply moving story which really spans the life of three generations of women, Yung Chang herself and her mother and her grandmother. From her grandmother, who was the concubine of a Chinese warlord, to her mother, who really joined the communist movement when it first began in China and was part of Mao Zedong's initial army, and then to Jung herself, who grew up in the shadow of Mao's cultural revolution and questioned what the movement had brought to the country, it is at once a highly intimate story of a family and the three women who formed the nucleus of that family and the larger picture of a country in the turmoil of civil war, uh, in the turmoil of the cultural revolution and what that really wrecked on the families inside the country at the time. Why should you read Wild Swans? Well, here are my three reasons. Firstly, Wild Swans is really the coming of age story of a young girl. Uh, the story actually ends upon Yung Chang's uh, initiation into adulthood, so to say. We have far too few stories really of girls, you know, coming of age and their evolution into adulthood. So simply from that perspective, I think it's a story that, you know, everyone should definitely read. Secondly, it looks at, uh, you know, a subject which is really not something that we talk about, uh, which is that uh, while there is often deep love between mothers and daughters, it can also be a relationship that involves a lot of conflict um, and sometimes unresolved conflict. And through her story, Yung Chang really brings that to light. Uh, and the final reason why I think you should definitely read it is that it gives you an up close and personal view of Mao's cultural revolution. Now, for those who are not very familiar with what went on during the cultural revolution, uh, it was this phase during the 60s when uh, Mao Zedong really encouraged the youth of the country to kind of upend all authority, to really, uh, you know, have a so-called taking people back to their roots kind of a movement. But what it meant in practice was that there was enormous violence visited on many families. Often uh, so-called intellectuals, anyone who was a doctor, professor, teacher, for instance, was just sent back to the countryside to learn from doing manual labor. And uh, all kinds of other horrors were really inflicted upon people in the name of bringing them closer to the people, which is ironical. So um, what happens is that while we know from the, you know, uh, histories of the cultural revolution today, some of these macro issues, uh, this book really looks at it from a very up close and personal perspective. For instance, uh, Yung Chang's parents themselves who are committed communists uh, are eventually, uh, you know, denounced as not being communist enough and sent to these uh, re-education centers and, you know, denounced by other people and face many hardships as a result. What really happens to an ordinary family in a time of turmoil like this, uh, Wild Swans really brings that to life. To give you a flavor of the book, since it's really set uh, against the backdrop of the cultural revolution for a large part, uh, I'd like to just read you this line from the book, which says, uh, father is close, mother is close, but neither is as close as Chairman Mao, which really tells you a lot about, you know, the times that this book was set in. So if you've already read Yung Chang's Wild Swans, uh, and you think you'd like other such stories, then here are my records. Uh, I'm not leaving you with narratives from Asia or China necessarily, but what I'd like to suggest to you is other stories which are about a girl's coming of age. 
So here are my three recos. Uh, you could try Betty Smith's A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, which is a lovely story set in Brooklyn, of course. Uh, then you have uh, Sue Monk Kids' The Secret Life of Bees, uh, which is a story of a completely different sort in more modern times, but I think it's something that you'd really like. Uh, and that's something that young adults may like as well. And finally, closer home, we have uh, Shashi Deshpande's The Binding Wine, which is a beautiful story of a young woman who is married and then finds her own feet. So in some senses, a coming of age at a very different stage of life. So I hope you like all of these and you'll find links to Wild Swans as well as all of my other recommendations in the comments link below. I hope this episode encourages you to pick up Wild Swans if you haven't read it yet. And if you do read it, don't forget to drop me a comment below telling me how you liked it. And if you'd like more such on books that will change your world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Happy reading.